today we're going to make a random number generator uh, using a Windows Forms application in C Sharp Visual Studio 2010. What we want to do is we want to generate 100 random numbers between the numbers 0 and 1000. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and open up uh, Visual Studio. I'm just going to call this one random numbers. It says Visual Studio 2010 Express that I'm using. Alright, and you see it just generated our form and everything for us. We only want three objects on here. We want a button, and we're going to want a text box. Let's see, where's that? There it is. Text box, and we're going to want another button. I'll put this button about down there. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and click on this line because we're going to need this to be multi line. And let's re relocate this here. Kind of center it up a little bit. Not exactly center, but it's good enough. Let me see. Actually, let's uh, go ahead and drag this down some too. There we go. And. Uh, let's start with let's go ahead and name everything so this button here we're going to call this generate so we're going to give it a label text label generate and we'll call this btn generate and we're going to give this text box a name we're just going to call it txt numbers it's going to hold our generated numbers. And let's give this button. We're going to use this to close the application. So we're going to call this close. And we'll give this BTN close. All right, that's all there is to creating the form that we want to use this on. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to need to create a random number generator. And we're just going to get it working where it puts one in here for now, just to start with. So you can uh, get random number generator just by typing in R-A-N-D. Oh, yeah, double-click your, I'm sorry, double-click your generate button so you can get your form, uh, form handler thing to go ahead and pop up. Type in R A N D and just this gonna select random for you. Just that. Let's give our random numbers a name. We'll call it uh, R and D, and it's gonna equal a new what did I do wrong here? Oh. New random, and that's how you create a random number generator is that that easy all right now let's create our integer our int variable uh, to store the numbers so it's going to be int and we'll give this the name nums so equal our new uh, random numbers right from the random number generator so we're going to go rnd now there's a function or a module called next and you'll notice if you type in any, it pulls up. This is going to give us the next random number generated through whatever the limits are. We're going to re, uh, constrain those limits to, to between 0 and 1,000. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to give 0. Whoops. So you, can, you got uh, three options here. Int max value, int min value. We want int min and max. So we're going to set that right here and it's gonna be zero and we're gonna go 1000 plus one there so the ceiling is gonna be at right at 1000 and the next thing we want to do if you remember we had our text box here that's where we want the numbers to display we named our text box text numbers 
So we want this to uh, display in the text box. So our text box is called text numbers. Text numbers, there it is. It's going to equal our verbal, right? Nums. Oh, I forgot to put a dot text here. So we want it to be nums dot two strings. So we're going to convert that number to a string to display here. And two string is the method for that or function, whatever you want to call it. I believe the correct name is method. Now let's take a look and see what we've done here. So let's go ahead and hit our run button and we're going to generate. We're going to, we can generate one number uh, between 0 and 1,000. So go ahead and close that out. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and set that button closed so I can be using that instead. So let's go to here. Let's double click button close. And this is just real simple. There's a method called close. If I can type. See it right there? And we're just going to do that. And this just makes it real simple. You know, we can generate a number and click our close button. It's going to close it for us. All right, so now we have it right where we want it, creating a random number. But what we really wanted was we wanted multiple random numbers to uh, display with one click. So that's what we're going to do next. To get it to display multiple numbers, we need to go ahead and we need to set up a loop for this. We're going to set up a for loop to this. It's pretty simple to set up a for loop. It's just four. And we'll make our counting variable. We'll call it i. So int i so if int i is less than or equal to 1000 I mean 100 right yeah we're running this loop 100 times so we'll less than we'll make it less than or equal to 100 because we want 100 numbers we're gonna increment our variable by one so we're gonna have it as long as I is gonna be less than a hundred it's gonna run the statements below this which is gonna be basically these two statements right here so as long as our for so as long as I is less than 100 we want it to grab a new number from the random number generator every time and throw it into the text box. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add these two lines here. Now I'm just going to copy and paste. Save me a little bit of typing. Whoops. That didn't work out very well, did it? Back that up. We're going to take our variable nums. We're grabbing a number from the random generator right here. This is our text box. So every time we get a number, we're creating a new number for the text box and converting it to a string. Let's see how that works. And I have an error. What did I do? saying here I did oh it auto completed on me that's what happened that's one bad thing about uh, and I and I you gotta get this set it right there we go and I I is less than equal less than or equal to 100 I'm still getting there. Why am I getting there? Okay, we got int i. I got it cleaned out here. Int i equals one. That's what I what I had forgot. I forgot to go ahead and set that in there. So it'll be i is less than one hundred. Less than. We'll make it less than or equal to one hundred actually. So i plus plus. So let's see what we got here with that. At this point, we're generating. 100 numbers between 1 and 1,000. However, we that kind of it's kind of hard to read like that. So we want to put these numbers on new lines. 
So to give it a new line, what we're going to do is we're going to create us a new variable. We'll, call, we'll give it a, be a string variable. New line. And there's another method you can do to call, and it's going to be called environment. Environment dot new line and we're going to add our new variable new line in between text and two strings so let's just set, put it right there and then give us our plus sign there and there we go let's take a look and there we go now you have I thought I put the scroll bars on there. I didn't put scroll bars on there, so let's do that real quick. So let's go back to our properties box on the form view. And let's click on the text box so we get the right one here. And scroll bars, let's go ahead and set that up to vertical. I thought I had done that. And let's run that again. Generate, and there's our 100 random numbers that's generated between uh, zero and one thousand. Hit close, and that's all there is to it. And if you need to, I have other videos, other program videos at my website, along with how to uh, use various Adobe products such as Photoshop, Illustrator, and Dreamweaver, Weaver, and how to WordPress at www.skeeterz71.com.